Hi, my name is Barry McCoy with McCoy's Bad Boy Rods. And today I'm doing this video on how to set up our hidden hole system for a 14 inch air cleaner. It's actually pretty simple and it comes with instructions. We make our air cleaners in uh, a billet 3 8 inch thick. It doesn't have a hole in the top. And we have a base that we've mounted to the bottom with a tapped quarter 20. In the kit you'll see that we provide all thread. Uh, for larger uh, carburetors it would take like a 5 8 um, 16 bolt. There are adapters or we can modify our um, standoff that we attach to the bottom of this to be that full size. Um, this is for Corvette so we're providing a just a standard drop base. The reason it's not out of belt aluminum is because of the cost factor and these are readily available. k style filter that we set right in here. And the tools that you're going to need it basically simply straight edge. You take the all thread that we provide. It's just standard quarter uh, 20 all thread. And basically we're going to put it right here on the bottom. Doesn't matter if you have an Elbrock or Holley or what brand of carburetor you're using. Basically it's a five and an eighth um, um, opening for here for the air cleaner. You're going to push this right up to that. And we also provide a locking nut so that you can lock it down. Basically it's like timing an engine. We're going to measure it right here uh, to the bottom side of the um, straight edge. I get one inch. So on a Holley carburetor, this is a 600, it'd be one inch. Now, because this six, uh, sits and recessed on the air filter, to recess over here, we would want to make that just a little bit under because I bottomed this out into the uh, air um, carburetor. So basically, I'm, I would go over there with my cutoff wheel, I'd mark this with a piece of tape, I'd want it to be about a quarter inch under, and I'd pull this out after I marked it, and I've already done one, and basically, I've got my piece right here. I put a little locking nut on this because it's like timing the motor. Once I get the timing set, I want to lock it in place so that it doesn't move. Um, so I'm going to screw this in here like this, and once again, I'd bottom it out just to be on the safe side. And basically, I want to fit my air filter, and as you can see, it just locates kind of right nice. And I just start spinning it on. The, the air cleaner itself is my nut. I think it's starting. And it is. So, it's starting to lock up. And basically, here's what happens. And I'm just going to tilt this up to show you. Let's say it, it, it started to tighten up from here. Why, you would realize that you have a ways to go before you got to, uh, or excuse me, I take that back. Uh, you would realize that you don't have that far to go. And let's say it was starting to snug right here, you can have a little pressure on the carb and the base. And basically what you do is you would just tighten that right on, right on up until it was snug facing the front of the car. And when you were finished, we would want this to be um, parallel with the car uh, from front to back. You'd want it to be straight, and from sideways, you'd want it to be square with the engine compartment. And basically, that's all it is. You're just going to, if let's say, let's say it didn't work out, and we, we turned a little bit more because I didn't have a snug all the way down, and it starts to lock up, and it's in the wrong position, and it's clear right here. What I what I'd notice is I'm just about maybe 15 degrees off. I would want to back my screw up just a little bit, tighten it back down, and then by going counterclockwise, it's going to take some of that slop out and I can screw it back on and get it straight again. And once I do that, basically it's going to be back to square. Once you set this up once and you have to change the filter or anything, it's not going to be that big of a deal. All you're going to have to do is just turn it back on. Uh, let's say the filter size. Uh, for some reason it was compressed or just a little bit off, you just have to make one small adjustment and you'd be right back in business. Uh, again, my name is Barry McCoy, McCoy's Bad Boy Rods. Um, this is our hidden hole system. Uh, we're the only ones uh, that I know in the world right now making them. And if you're interested in this, you can go to badboyrods.com. We have 
Corvettes, skulls, American flags. Uh, our skulls are airbrushed with House of Color candies, blue, purple, red, any candy uh, that you would choose. And um, we're also making this in a black Corvette style with silver machining and a clear coat. Those are also on our website and eBay. Um, you can go to Bad Boy Rods, uh, it'd be McCoy's uh, Bad Boy Rods Facebook page. That's M C C O Y apostrophe S, Bad Boy Rods. And once again, badboyrods.com. Or you can call us direct. My name is Barry, area code 260 637 2700. We'd love to make something for you, a custom one-off. Uh, we just finished a quad Corvette carburetor. So basically whatever you can imagine, we can design for you and get it going. Uh, thank you for watching the video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call 260-637-2700 or visit us at badboyrods.com.